All right, today is Monday, September 9th. Uh, currently headed down towards Louisiana to chase what is to be Francine. Actually, just a little bit ago, officially now a tropical storm, tropical storm Francine. Uh, convection on satellite this morning looks really, really good. Uh, looking really healthy. Um, forecasted to be about a high-end category one upon landfall on the Louisiana coast, about 85 mile per hour winds as of right now. Of course, we're still about two days out, so a lot could change with that. Uh, near landfall, uh, there's gonna be some sheer and dry air that may prohibit some rapid intensification, but wouldn't be surprised if we maybe push Cat 2, low end category two, upon landfall for Francine. But yeah, currently headed down towards Louisiana, and we will see what happens. All right, we just had the 4 p.m. National Hurricane Center update a little bit ago. So, uh, Tropical Storm Francine all day today has looked really good on satellites. Has uh, really started to try and clear out an eye. Just looking super healthy, super good. Uh, so what that means for these next couple days in the eventual hurricane intercept video. National Hurricane Center on this update is now forecasting Category 2 at landfall around 1 p.m. as of right now on Wednesday for the Louisiana coast with up to 100 mile per hour winds. So uh, that's drastically increased from the last update, which was about 85 mile per hour winds, 80 to 85 mile per hour winds. So um, yeah, it's getting to be pretty serious. And um, you know, my current thoughts today are if Tropical Storm Francine, current Tropical Storm Francine can continue to maintain that look and how healthy she is, um, that means she's gonna battle, potentially battle less dry air and less of that shear towards landfall which could mean that it rapidly intensifies, maybe even push category three status. I guess only time will tell. And uh, by the time this video gets released, we'll definitely know by then. So yeah, pretty interesting update. We'll have to continue to monitor that uh, as we go into tonight with the 11 o'clock update here later tonight and further updates between now and when the hurricane chase gets underway. All right, it is now Tuesday. I made it to Lake Charles, Louisiana last night. Uh, Tropical Storm Francine struggled yesterday evening into the overnight hours due to some dry air wrapping around the center of her uh, that really prevented some intensification. She still kind of struggled this morning, but she's trying, she's certainly trying. Uh, we're heading further east towards Homa, Louisiana uh, to get in position. Latest update as of today, downgraded to category one with about 90, 90 mile per hour winds at landfall now. Uh, category two is still not out of the possibility though. I still feel like Francine still has some tricks up her sleeves. She'll probably get uh, officially a hurricane at some point today, uh, Tuesday, September 10th, I believe. Yep, Tuesday, September 10th. Uh, so she'll probably get a hurricane here in the next few hours as I continue to drive east to get into better position. And um, we'll see what happens. Once again, category two, still not out of the possibility. Uh, category three, most likely as of this point yesterday, uh, there was kind of some talks going around about her potentially getting up to category three, but uh, unless it really drastically changes, but there's gonna be sheer increasing tomorrow uh, to even prohib prohibit rapid intensification or any intensification even further. But um, we'll see what happens. All right, it is now Wednesday. Uh, we still have Hurricane Francine. Um, earlier today, thought we would maybe probably squeeze out a Cat 2, which there's still a slight possibility, but some dry air is entering on the southern and eastern side of the eye wall as it's still working its way towards Louisiana. Um, so kind of unsure at this point until it gets closer if it will reach Cat 2 strength or not, but certainly a high-end Category 1 unless if more of that shear and dry air impacts. Uh, currently just sitting in Morgan City, Louisiana. Uh, just kind of wait until she gets closer, can kind of figure out the wobbles and try to determine which side of the eye wall I want to intercept. Uh, as of right now, it looks like the western side of the eye wall might be stronger with some winds. Um, however, on the eastern side of the eye wall, you're gonna get the surge and stuff, but it's hard to get to the coast. Um, unless if convection can wrap all the way around, then that eastern side will be the kind of the play that I want to do. Uh, so I may start out on the western side, then go to the eastern side. Not really for sure yet. We just kind of got to wait till she gets closer and what she's looking like by then. But um, yeah. All right, we've started the hurricane chase and uh, get out hungry. So 
and his cold can of spaghetti as a meatball time. The good old Dr. Pepper. While we wait for these outer bands to come through, and um, well, actually, we're getting impacted by an outer band right now as I speak. pretty interesting. Uh, outer band started to come through uh, down here south of Huma, or Homa, Louisiana. Uh, went into a little parking lot. Didn't realize there was such a steep drop off and went off trying to make my own path basically and ended up bending the rim on one of my tires, front right passenger tire. You know your front right's flat, right? Is it really? Yeah. God dang it, dude. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I didn't realize that till now. I got an air pump. I don't know if you have like, I don't know what we can, do you have, you have a spare, right? Yeah, I got a spare, but I got an air pump as well. What was that? I got an air pump as well. Okay. I think, you might have to use the air pump because <laughs> I don't know about getting a spare on in this weather. Nope. Just, um, to, just at least to just get you back. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, uh, go ahead and start it. You're fine. I'm not gonna switch to my phone. Apparently my front ride is flat. Got it. You got this, Ryan. It's the tire's moving. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've experienced. <laughs> I don't need that. If there's a will, there's a way. Thank you to Ryan Scholl and uh, Clint Hendricks, I think is his name, I believe. Um, kind of used some multiple different tools because I couldn't remember exactly where my tools are at. And now after the fact, I remembered where they're at. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was trying to put air in it and it was not taking air whatsoever. Come to find out, uh, rim got bent. So Ryan Scholl and Clint Hendricks uh, helped me Get that changed now i got the spare tire on so that was an experience for this hurricane um honestly pretty funny but we had a pretty good outer band coming through and then thankfully it let up just in time rain stopped we still had some gusty winds but it just makes this uh hurricane experience so much more Winds are starting to pick up a little bit more.
Oh, that was a big gust of wind right there. Very, very close to actual official landfall in this heavy northeast outer eye wall band. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the eye wall of Hurricane Francine near Dulac, Louisiana. Winds are really, really intense. Still getting some surge that's coming upon the roadway. Wow, have these winds been really, really intense.
Oh shoot, we got a major tree blocking the road. I just ripped off my Starlink. Uh, I think I just ripped. Did I rip off my Starlink? Your Starlink is still there. All right. All right. What else did I rip off? I think I'm good other than that. Oh, uh, my Insta 360 cam. Yeah, I can make sure. Yeah, thank you. Insta360 camera down and broken. Uh, that power line whipped across. Uh, but at least I recovered it so I can get the footage. Um, but yeah, it's the 360 camera it is unfortunately shattered. That power line right back there is whipping across the road. Okay, I need to do my best to try to do a quick check. I gotta get out of this spot though. Darn, I forgot the marshmallows. <laughs> Dinner of champions right here.
Mm-mm-mm. All right, I am back in Morgan City, Louisiana. Uh, Hurricane Francine officially came in at a category two, which was a little bit unexpected, but a little bit not. I uh, was kind of thinking it might do that. Uh, but Hurricane Francine was an absolute blast. I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I certainly enjoyed being out here. Uh, God, the sights, the sounds, the winds, the rain, uh, just everything. This was so fun. Uh, one of the one of the one of the most enjoyable chases that I've had in a while. So yeah, I just really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys so much for all the support. Cannot do this without you guys. I love you guys.